So what I need to do is slash across there as hard as you can. Remember when I said that theoretically and mathematically, Enola Holmes could indeed have been saved from a stab attack by her corset? Well, that is still true, but after this video, you'll see why I also said you shouldn't rely on it. And remember when you watched The Nevers, if you did, and you thought, how did a knife get through all of that clothing and boning to make such a clean looking slice on True's torso? Well, I had that same feeling, friends, so today we're going to test it out on my new dummy, Mannequin Skywalker. Hey, Annie. Are you okay? I'm Jill Dara, I'm a stage combatant, and I like to test the veracity of things that happen in fiction. So I wrapped my dummy in underfloor insulation, called a friend, and set up the first experiment. Here's what we're trying to replicate. Episode 1 of The Nevers, which is set in Victorian England, features the main character engaging in a fight with some quasi-supernatural dudes, one of whom slashes across her torso with a knife, leaving a nasty slice through her skin, even though she is obviously in other shots wearing a corset. This is my newest, sharpest, sharpened for the occasion kitchen knife. This is Duncan, who will substitute both for this guy and for Linthorn. And here are the layers. Cotton layer for the undershirt, corset mock-up, we're getting there, cotton shirt over the top. Pretty thin cotton in both cases. I mean, this is a hanky, but I'm trying my best to be fair, and mostly I want to see if it goes through the boning of the corset, rather than whether or not it can go through the fabric layers. How far through the boning can you get with a slash? As it turns out, not that far. It's got the first layer, but mm -hmm. it's not breaking through it. The knife slashed through the cotton, which is substituting for our shirt easily enough, and through the cotille of the corset patch, but didn't make much of a dent in the boning. The second one I'll do is I will push and then draw it, so like a draw cut. So you can see where this one is, that it's it's broken the uh, the stitching more as well. Look, along, look, one, two, three, four. Whereas this one, though it cut all the way across it, didn't really go through it all. I'm gonna try and show you an extreme close-up here. While it's scored the boning, it hasn't come close to breaking through. If you are at this point wondering, but what is that thing? It is science. This is a mock-up of the structure of a Victorian corset, which was very kindly provided to me by the nice people at Kiss Me Deadly. Because I emailed them like, hi, I want to stab a corset, but not like a whole reproduction Victorian corset, because that just seems really wasteful. So can you help me? And they said, yes. So the stuff that it's made out of is cotille, and the black lines you can see down here are stitch marks for boning channels, and in every one of these there is a piece of plastic boning. Save the whales, kids. And you'll know that while it's pretty flexible, it's also reasonably tough. This actually has two layers of boning in it. There's the front part of it, which runs this way, and then on the back it runs in the opposite direction. Which is completely irrelevant for the slash tests, because it didn't even go through the first layer of boning, but on the stab tests, well, You'll see. The fact that the boning channels are right next to each other makes it much more like an actual reproduction or Victorian corset like Enola's is. As opposed to something like this fashion corset where there's a bone here, and then there's a bone here, and then there's one over here. The bones are quite far apart is what I'm saying. But what if the slashing is only ineffective because the boning is so dense? What if we take that black steel boned fashion corset and try slashing it instead? Now, because it's steel boned, the individual bones will be more difficult to break through. In fact, probably impossible with a kitchen knife. But there are these very significant gaps between boning. So what does that do when you try and slash through it? Turns out that even when they're this far apart, the bones are still close enough together to interfere with the knife getting any real purchase. You can see where it's like, it, it's made an indent. If I hold it right, you can see the lines where the knife tried to break through while it was slashing. And I'll give it a little bit of a push as I go. You did it right on the buff. By the time it pushes into there, it's also now picking up on the next bit of bone. Yeah. So it's not going to have an opportunity, like if it were longer across here, like for instance, you know, it cuts the bone here. Yeah. And then as it continues there, and it's got all the fabric, it can then try and go through. Although it doesn't seem to be doing anything on this one anyway. Slashing across an area that's already reinforced? Uh, no. Useful to know. But I never did think that slashing would give you much joy because corsets are pretty tough to begin with. What about stabbing though? Wasn't quite expecting this degree of success with that, but let's try a Nola scenario. In the Enola Holmes movie, Linthorne pulls a knife and stabs Enola, but while it breaks some of the boning in her corset, it doesn't manage to penetrate through to her skin. For movie replication purposes, Enola is wearing a whalebone corset, which obviously would have had an underlayer, and a silk dress over the top. I mean, this is quite thin silk, but I did my best. 100% silk! <laughs> I got it from the charity shop. 
Um, okay. I assume you didn't tell them what you wanted it for. The thing is, though, that Enola moves back with the blow, so to try and replicate that, I held Annie to try and rock her back a bit, since otherwise she'd just fall. But I don't think I did a terribly good job. And uh, look, here I'm, now I'm outstretched. The arc of my power stops here at the end of my stretch, yeah? So it's not like I'm here and able to punch all the way through it like I did before. And it's breaking through it. Hey! Oh, it's actually stabbed it has, Annie. It's stabbed Annie, I'm sorry. That's okay. So, and that was from a, that was from a distance. Because yeah, that just went right through, didn't it? Through one layer of silk, through the cotyl holding the boning in place, through not one, but two layers of boning, both of which are broken, and obviously through the undershirt underneath and then right into the dummy. Sorry, Annie. So breaking through not one, but two layers of boning will have absorbed a fair amount of the energy of the stab, possibly enough that after it goes into the body it won't go deep enough to hit organs, but I wouldn't rely on it. I really wouldn't. So is there any way we can make this plausible? Actually, yes, because Enola's corset has a steel busk down the center. The busk is like this sort of centimeter wide strip. A knife just won't break a steel bone or a steel busk. Deform it, maybe, but what's more likely to happen is that the knife is just going to skid off somewhere else. So in this scenario, Linthorn, who is really kind of far away, stabs at Enola. She moves back, maybe the knife hits the busk and then skids off into the boning. It breaks the boning, but by that point it doesn't have enough energy left to break through to the skin. It's plausible, is what I'm saying, but the very, very fortunate kind of plausible. If we stab the steel boned corset, the bones are far enough apart that they just aren't really going to get in the way. And unboned corset fabric just isn't going to turn a knife that isn't a butter knife. The Enola Holmes book has a steel boned corset, which one must assume has as many boning channels as this one, though not two layers of them. And a steel bone corset that's as densely boned as this could very plausibly turn a knife. I mean, assuming that you only have a single layer of boning, there is always the chance that you're going to get unlucky and they're going to stab you right between the bones, but that is... that would be quite a lucky shot. If you'd like to see some more videos about martial adventuring in corsets, poofy dresses or otherwise, there is a playlist next to my face. Subscribe if you'd like more videos like this, and I'll see you soon.